Hey fairy friends, Madrine here, and we are living in the exciting times of Feria 2.0. Now there's been a lot of productive community discussion around Feria's new business model, and I figured it's about time I weigh in with my advice to not only sustain our player base, but grow it exponentially over time. Now if you are familiar with the market, you've probably heard of Hearthstone, a massively successful card game based on Blizzard's Warcraft franchise. Now I've been known to dabble in Hearthstone a bit, and I can tell you there's one facet of Hearthstone I've noticed, and some others have too, that separates it uh, drastically from Feria. And that's random effects, or RNG, random number generation, however you want to call it. Hearthstone has a lot of it, and it can lead to some pretty zany uh, deck interactions and, and uh, gameplay. Uh, sometimes fun, sometimes disappointing, but it's there, and there's lots of it. Feria, on the other hand, is more strategic. You have to be thoughtful about each turn, and uh, it, it's not just about drawing on curve. Um, or waiting for the right uh, random effects to take over. It's a, it's much more strategic. So this got me thinking. All right, we've we've got Hearthstone, uh, massively successful financially, and has lots of RNG. And we have Feria, who's trying to get their financial footing with Feria 2.0. It's a new business model, but they're very strategic. So it came to me, quite obviously, that all Feria needs to be financially successful is lots more RNG. Now as of today, there are just over 30 cards in Feria with the word random in their card text. So today I'll be showcasing as many of these cards as possible in a mono random mirror match against community members Wurfs and Bobbin. A quick shout out to Wurfs, he's also a Feria content creator. He has a Twitch channel, you can see it, find him at I am Wurfs, YouTube Wurfs. He also hosts the occasional Hex Templar tournament series which is Feria World Circuit Sanction. So you can get FWC points through that. I think he also has some Steam gift card rewards, and you might even be able to win a date with Wurfs where he cooks dinner for you at your home or his. He's also been known to cosplay as Topaz Yak. So uh, there's that. All right, I hope you enjoy these matches and uh, all the zany interactions, and hopefully this at, this will convince Abraham to add more RNG to Feria so that they can be as pop, as successful, if not more successful, than Hearthstone. Until next time, friends, take care, good luck, and have fun. Matrian versus Wurfs. Alright, we are hopping into a match with our. Ooh, Tree of Everlife, I like it. Moon's Messenger. No, let's just keep Seed Sower. We're going mono random against Wurfs' mono random. And we are running one copy of each random card. There are just over 30. Let's go defensive. We're in this, uh, in it to win it in the long haul. There are just over 30 uh, cards in Fairy with ran the word random in their card text. So I'm showing you as many of them as I can to show you how powerful uh, and fun random effects are in a card game. Create an adjacent forest at random. You know, how do I feel about this? Do we want to build up to rain of fish and have some fun? Yeah, I think we do. Yep, let's hope that goes over beautiful. So now we can collect with our seed sower and start building uh, lakes up to rain of fish. Let's see what Wurfs has for us with his green. Hopefully not, but it could be ruin his presence. Yeah, there we go. Seven, eight, Everbloom Wisp. <laughs> Oh, that is great. I, uh, I did re um, I'm not gonna build in that direction, but wait. I'm gonna save up Faria. I have won a match, uh, against Yellow Rush with a Runin's Presence Seedling. 
right in, uh, right in the path of my opponent. Spirit of Rebirth is going to get tremendous value for him. I'm going to keep building it away, away, away. And force him to create a land here, back up our dude, and actually, this could work well. Because we can swing our Elder Word Hermit into his Elder Bloom Wisp. Which, I mean, looking at them, these two don't look like they'd ever really get in a fight. They probably, they might live in the same forest. It's possible. And I, I just don't see that working out very well. Okay, so he's playing it safe, moving into the well. And beefing up his Super Saiyan Everbloom Wisp. Which is a strategy, I think, of Kalusian. Uh, if you go on the hub and search for Super Saiyan Wh uh, Everbloom Wisp, it's a really funny video. So I recommend it. Wow. Look at all those spirits of rebirth. Uh, let's do Rain of Fish. And see what happens. Yeah, let's build up here. And... Do I want to... No, let's, let's do this first. Alright. Nice. So nearly all of them are on water tiles, so they can double collect next turn. I think I'm going to keep that wild growth. Uh, we don't quite need it yet, and I think Frog Touch is going to be much more valuable for us. He's going to have to create a land in order to touch our uh, Elderwood Hermit. But I think he's probably terrified of our Ruby Fish right now. Ruby Fish, a card you should familiarize yourself with, because we are getting uh, the ultimate troll card of Rapala. I think they can call it Rapala the Dopefish or something. I don't really get why they call it that. He's dopey or... I don't know. We have our own Spirit of Rebirth. One another friendly creature. Uh, which I think we have to drop this turn. Uh, we can also play it against... Okay, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is fine, this is fine. Okay, there, that's good. Uh, we can still play Frog Tosser. We can, who do I want a Frog Tosser? This guy? Probably this guy. So we're going in. I think we'll go in and give a random friendly creature plus two Four? I think we want a Frog Tosser first, right? Yeah, let's, okay, let's do that. And let's Frog Tosser... Create a forest at random. I don't know if I like that. Where should I place Frog Tosser? Down here? And then knock out his bubble collector, I guess. Put it there, so we can clear that. Uh, yeah, let's, let's try that, I guess. Uh, let's smack in there, and let's inch up one. Oh, we ran out of time. Whoops. A lot of a lot of tough decisions to make in a mono random list, especially all these ruby fish. They are such valuable little uh, critters that. You want to optimize them as effectively as you can. Um, I feel like we're in a good spot. Let's see who that empowers. Alright, it's his one Everbloom Wisp, which is growing stronger and stronger. So if we can just keep that at bay and keep chipping away at him with our Ruby Fish, um, we could be in a really great spot. Runin's Messenger would be a great card to get down next turn. Oh, he has his own Frog Toss. They're probably going for our... over that. Okay, we're getting these pings in from our Spirit of Rebirth. Let's see what we're up to. I think we have to go with our Runes Messenger this time, definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, so... 
I want to clear that. With our spirit of rebirth. Not before I... Let's get this guy into double collection. Okay. I think I want to... Trade in as many as I can to get the best value off of this guy before I... Um... So we have to do force there in order to trade this in. So let's move him over there and hope that all of these pings land on... Uh... Oh shoot, I want to clear this guy. Or do I? No, I... Oh, this is tricky. Let's collect there. I want to keep him there on the land block. We can trade this guy in. Yeah, let's trade this one in. Let's trade this one in. Okay. And then I'm gonna clear there. Over there so I can do that. And then drop our tester. There! Bam, we used a whole turn again, so sorry to Worfs. Um, you can probably see that we had a lot to consider. Runin's messenger. I'm hoping he doesn't... Right, he's just going in. He's got us on a clock here. And he's going to drop something there. A court jester. That really locks us down. So what can I do here? Can Luduan? Uh, we, we gotta take this out. <laughs> right. Block him. I think we have to do that. Let's move the one up here. Wild growth, I'm nervous to use. Um, I think that's good. So, we need to find a way to win. Oh, Darien Golem. See, but we. Hopefully we can get a court jester to lock down his uh oh, but he's gonna place it there. And Everbloom Wisp straight to the face. And uh We got Battletoads. Alright, so let's see what we get from our Bernie's Messenger. Voice of hunger, huh? Alright, uh, so he's got us. So let's Let's just do something fun here, okay? And... Uh, like that. Go like that. Yeah, this will work, right? That and that. And then... Voice of Hunger. <laughs> uh... That was awesome. And then we'll place the Steam Forge there. Uh, give the day to Worfs, and I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing all the all the immensely valuable random cards there are in Feria. I really do think random just makes this great. Great, and we'll take it to the next level. So until next time, Fairy friends, take care, good luck, and have fun. Matrian versus Bobin. Alright friends, we are hopping into a mono-random match against Bobbin. You know, Hellfire is so tempting early on, right? Especially in a matchup like this. I feel bad keeping it. <laughs> but, uh, that's what we're gonna do. Alright, uh, we're gonna start uh, with just the mountain up front. Try to get our Hellfire down. We don't have Explore, so it's gonna take us a bit. Uh, we'll see what Bob. Bobbin's probably going a similar route. Now, how do I want to play this? Let's, we could Ogre Dance, that might be nice. Yeah, let's do it. We're not in a rush. Uh, let's, let's play up, let's just choose a side. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was great. I feel terrible, but. 
on a random. Anything can happen. Uh, we're trying to prove that um, random effects can really uh, take Fairy to the next level. Let's see what Bobbin has for us to explore. Unfortunately, not a random card, but he has his own Ogre Dance. <laughs> Cobalt Warlord, which is what we have in hand as well. How can we counter that? You know what I like is uh, let's get him. Let's get a forest down here, and then we can play uh, our own Oakling next turn. Although, does this Cobalt give a random friendly creature? All right, so. Oh man, and Seed Sower. Bummer. So we're in a pinch. Uh, we could just go on the defensive and place... No, I, I think we gotta place a... Or do we? See, he can take out my... Alright, let's just do this. We're going to... Don't have four lands yet. I want to place Magda somewhere safe next turn. Yeah. Let's let's land block him right there. He can come down with the seed sower, or the what he'll probably do is place a land here, uh, and then bring in his cobalt warlord. Strike here to clear it because it's five, um, and then bring the seed sower. Yeah, I mean you could do that too. Oh, and a bold bargainer. Let's see, he's got two cards in hand. Random card in your hand costs seven less. Wow. So, we got a pretty beefy... Um, I don't think Magda's the right play. I gotta stop his aggression here. And we're just gonna have to... Just gonna have to take that plus one, I think. Krog is... Uh, Krog is king. But... Here, not that special. I think it's Magda turn. I think it's got to be a rant Magda turn. And let's place her uh, quite safely over. Let's get a blue. Or do we? I, we can't really build up the Krog. It's not worth it. Um, and yes, I just said that. I'm sorry. We're gonna. Magda over there. See what she can draw us. I'm making a lake because we do have some random <coughs> random blue effects. Uh, random blue cards. Oh man. That's definitely taking our Magda. Angle straight to the face. Okay. Bobbin. Alright. We could frog we could frog toss her. Um, that's definitely what we want to build to. Let's do that. I don't want him to come here and place an aggressive land, so I'm going to just go with that. We don't need the wild growth right now. We're all set to frog toss our next turn, and hopefully get into a double collection. Yeah, because if we place the... Ooh, Ignis. Bummer. Yeah, I think we have the frog toss over. Oh, but do we frog toss your Ignis instead? I mean, we lose our... No, no, we can do that, because then we'll have a frog over here. I think we have to do that. Yep, take out Ignis. Get a frog right there, and I think... Create a forest at random? I don't think we need it. Let's, uh, let's plus one. Then we can, uh, we don't have many options next turn either. <laughs> oh man. So Bobbin's in a good place with double collection. He's going full. So, uh, fun fact RNG, random number generator, term uh, used a lot for, uh, we're talking about card games. Um, Bobbin's running red and green. RNG. Let's see what his Ogre Dance gets him. 
He's not gonna show us, huh? Oh, oh, this is a Ludoan turn. That's for sure. Uh, give a random creature a hand plus two. Uh, do I even care about that? See, I think I'd rather just save. I don't need to block him. He, he will probably just stay in double collection there and wait until he can get drop something heavy here. Which we can answer with, um... So is, I'm placing Ludo on here. He's going to be the one to harvest. I'm going to go face, because I forgot the Bobbin's already down to, uh... Yeah, we're just going to save Faria. And hopefully drop Cobalt Warlord, uh... Right here next turn. I want to see what Ludoan gets us. This is honestly my first time playing him. I know this Harvest Fairy of Tree of Everlight. <laughs> and Runin's Presence. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, yeah, Triton Chef. That's great. That is just great. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're, we're not on... We're not out yet. Um, this is just gonna add a random legend to our hand. Wait a second, wait a second. Add a Triton Banquet to our hand. That's gonna be plus one. We could technically still win this, right? I don't need any more. Let's try this. Oh, no, 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 because he's gonna gain gonna gain seven life so we're we're really in a pinch here yeah we got to drop our cobalt warlord back here I can't I can collect over here instead of hitting face I think I just do that because we really need we're we're definitely very starved and gonna heal for seven. We gotta, we gotta move over here. Start getting some work done. Um, I don't see any reason to smack Ludo in. Let's just, like, I, I don't think I want to play Time of Legends just yet. Uh, there he goes for the Tree of Everlife heal. Which, you know, I thought fell, but we are proven wrong right here. Another Blood Song, which, you know, why would he care? Bone Collector. <laughs> he must have gotten that from some random card I forgot about. Runin's Presence. Let's go for it. We got our own Bone Collector. Okay. How can we play this? We got a zero cost Triton Chef. Time Legends, I don't want that. We can drop Bone Collector and Triton Chef this turn. Um, okay. Drop our Bone Collector there, right? But he's going to gain life from it. Oh man, this is so tricky. Do I want to collect? Is our bone collector seven nine, so we can't take it out. We shouldn't be able to. There, bone collector and Triton Chef over here to collect safely, and we'll plus one. All right, I, I think it's a good point. We should be able to take out the tree of Everlife soon too. See what Bobbin's got for us with those two cards. Ouch. And Tree of Everlife is giving each turn a random creature in his hand. Seven, plus seven, plus seven. You know, Bobbin has outsmarted us here. There are just over 30 cards and very random in their text. And do we do Rain of Fish? I think we just... Wait, can I... I don't think I have much going for me. Let's just rain a fish because I've never played it before. Let's just do it. Okay. 
Each fish that hits a land deals one damage to adjacent enemies. Pretty neat. Uh, let's go for it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We have to take out that tree, but we can't. We can hit it. Uh, that could be helpful. But no, he's going to clear this and gain more life. Oh, I didn't realize that any ruby fish on land uh, pass on at the end of the turn. Another rune in his presence, man. Bobbin is wrecking us with this tree of everlife and all his great draws. We we're, we were really stuck early on with Krog, Wild Growth, and Corchester. Yeah, I got I got to think of replacing those and probably just go for land ramp. He's doing. Ah, uh, yep. So he's got to take that out with this massive bolt argument. We can take out his Bone Collector next turn if we want. I think we're going to do that. Uh, let's go for it. Alright. So we're safe. For just a bit. Let's just, let's just use Time of Legends, see what we get. Mistanu, great. Just great. Oh! I didn't realize I had a ruby fish up there. Just chilling. I could have collected. Um, I think I'm just losing it. So RNG is supposed to make this game better, right? I don't, I don't understand why I'm... Why I'm losing. Okay. So... What do I do here? I think we just... If I drop anything this turn, yeah, let's let's get a collector down. Uh, he'll pay for it himself shortly, I think. Crackthorn could take out. Oh, I'm gonna need one more forest and one more mountain. <laughs> he drew a tarum from probably Runin's guidance. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let's do this right. His charm can to smack our face. We can play... No, we can't play Stanu at all. This is just going to create a forest. We can smack his pretend there. I can technically... No, I can't land block him, can I? Oh my goodness, this is a nightmare. <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful nightmare of RNG. Tree of Everlife. I, this is probably the game where Tree of Everlife has gained the most value. Let's see what he buffs. Cobalt Warlord. Another random creature. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. He has one card left. That's good news, right? Uh, we still can't play anything, though. And he has lethal. Let's draw for an answer. And we don't get it. We're just gonna have to wild grow. There we go. And good game. Uh, well played, Bobbin. Uh, this has been ridiculous. Let's let's see how he uh, wipes this out. Or if he's just gonna troll us. Uh, which is probably what we deserve for encouraging uh, Mono Random Mirror. <laughs> yep, there we go. It's a good game to Bobbin, and that was a blast. Hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned for more. Take care.